Enjoy the music from one of the best games of the year in LP format, available now. Well, that signifies I'm a nerd. These signify I'm a nerd. These definitely signify I'm a nerd. I just... <sighs> I don't even know if I should say it. Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your app printer, and uh... Even though there's a little news today that I could get around to talking about, I'm going to talk about something a little different. Um, there have been people who do ask me sometimes, why do I do what I do? Um, all I obviously do is complain about Uber and Lyft. Why don't I just quit? And, and for the record, I don't do it full time. I mean, I couldn't afford to do it full time. I, I wish it paid better. I would be better off financially if it did because on the days that I do drive, if it was, if the rates were what it they were like two years ago, I'd be a little bit more comfortable, not gonna lie. However, that's not the point. I still do it because I enjoy doing it. And it's not because I enjoy being slave laborers. I like, I think at the end of the day, most of us like to make a difference in people's lives. And this week I took a trip where I think I kind of did that. So for those who are not aware, um, I mean, I share this information hesitantly, as if you're immediately going to be able to find me if I share it, but I have a Super Smash Brothers sticker on my car. And once in a while, someone will notice it and say, hey, it's Smash Brothers, and um, that's a great conversation starter. That is a great conversation starter. And um, it's just, you know, it's not really something I put there to start conversations. I just needed something to easily identify my car. So I put two Smash Brothers sticker. I put the Powerball on the back bumper, and I put the Smash Brothers logo on the rear view window. So, you know, for what it's worth, it has made finding the car much, much easier. And people notice it once in a while. Well, I was doing Lyft a few nights ago. Uh, mainly I was doing Lyft because there was like a promotion that I wanted to see if I could reach, which I believe I did. So hopefully Lyft will come through and pay me it. Um, they always have before, but you never know. And I picked up a family who um, was shopping at Target. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I do not like these trips very much. I, I know why people use Uber and Lyft to shop and to get their groceries. But, oh gosh, I mean, usually they're not very far. And... Um, I'm not going to make a lot of money on them, so I know that, and so when you pick them up, you, you kind of have to be prepared, sometimes just to go as little as two blocks. They just, you know, they could easily, had they not been buying stuff, they could easily walk home, let's put it that way. And so I pick them up, and it's nothing too out of the ordinary. Now, when I see people with stuff, I pop the trunk, and I put the stuff in, and they had a son, and the son noticed the Smash Brothers sticker, and said, Super Smash Brothers, and I said, yes it is, who's your dream team? My favorite is Sonic the Hedgehog and Toon Link. Well, here's what I did not realize. I did not realize that um, the boy was autistic, that he had Asperger's Syndrome, and he loved Sonic the Hedgehog, absolutely loved him, he played a couple of games and just was obsessed with Th Sonic, and he was, he loved watching Sonic Boom, and he apparently had bought the comics for the, a brief period of time before they eventually discontinued them, which personally affected me, because I... Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was still reading those things. I'm I'm happy that they're gonna be making new Sonic comics with another publisher. But when Archie discontinued and like ten issues shy of the three hundred issue, wow. But anyway, this is about Lyft. Uh, so I didn't realize this, and so got in the car and he started talking Sonic this, Sonic that, Big the Cat, Rush the Cat, Tails. The fox, Knuckles the echidna, and I was talking back. And in fact, I even 
turned on because on my iPod I have Sonic the Hedgehog music, so I put on the True Blue album and started playing Sonic's music. He knew what the songs were, and his parents were so happy. They they couldn't believe it. Like they it was like, oh my gosh, we have a Lyft driver who speaks our son language, and they were telling me how difficult it is for the kid to make friends because he's autistic. He doesn't connect with them very well. And on top of that, he is obsessed with Sonic. And while they have no issues with Sonic personally, not everyone likes Sonic. And it's hard for him to connect to people who don't like it. And they have had, they've gone on Lyft and Uber rides where the boy was just quiet and uncomfortable. Strangers, he doesn't like strangers. But I like Sonic. So there was an immediate connection right there. And I played Sonic music and that was something that they weren't expecting. And when the dad asked, what streaming site is this? I had to tell him, it's my iPod classic. It's my own personal music. I don't know if anyone streams it. In truth, I'm sure he can find some place that will stream Sonic music. It might not be legal, but he can. And it was just, it was such a fun ride and I got to talk to the kid and I got to made the ride very pleasant which apparently most Lyft and Uber rides were not pleasant it was so much so that you know they even asked if you know to take a picture with me on their smartphone and then they like sent me the text um now at this point I mentioned I have a YouTube channel and I want to share the story but I will not share the photo if you don't want me to and they that was the one time where it went a little quiet. They were like, we don't want our son's photo on the internet. We're perfectly acceptable. And I gave them my YouTube channel so they can watch this video and see that I have, in fact, not done that. I do not want to do that against the parents' wishes for very obvious reasons. And even if I had, I probably would have blurred the boy's face out. But here's the thing. Um, this... Video might seem like it's about me um, liking Sonic the Hedgehog and talking to a boy who likes Sonic the Hedgehog. And that's not the case. I find many things in common with many people. But it was the fact that they told me Uber and Lyft rides were usually not comfortable for him, for, for their son. He doesn't make a lot of friends. He does not connect with strangers. I was able to connect with him and the fun and the funny thing is... It's because of a sticker. It is because of a sticker. We connected. That's all it was. And it was it was just a memorable night. And here's the thing. They didn't tip. And I know they're watching this. And I am going to tell them right now. That is okay. They didn't seem like they had a whole lot of discerning income. People who use Uber and Lyft to shop at Target normally don't. That's fine in this case. But the ride was so pleasant, and I kind of feel like, at least for an evening, I made a little bit of a difference in someone's life, and you can do that. You can do that, and so that's one of the reasons I still do this, even though the pay sucks and Uber doesn't care about us. There are still times when we, what can I say, it, it, there is a difference that's made, and I like it when that difference is made. I like it when I can make that difference, so... You know what? That's just a story. I mean, I know there's a couple news stories, and if there's a breaking one, I will, of course, report it. But I kind of just wanted today to be, you know what? There are still positives in this job. There are still good things that come from it. I have gotten consulting work through doing Uber. I have, you know, made friends driving through Uber. And, you know, this family might be a new friend. You, you never know. You never know. They at least want to check out some of my websites, and they might even email me. They Because now they're thinking of getting him a game system. They want to know which one. I could probably help them with that. Because not only am I a Sonic fan, I'm a video game fan. I really am. So, But, yeah, when people say, why do you still do this? The answer is because, honestly... Sometimes I still feel like I make a difference doing it. And once in a while, that's all you really need. So that's pretty much all I want to make this video about. Um, what do you think? What are some of your 
um, life-altering stories. I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, including this one, um, consider becoming a Patreon member for as little as a dollar a month. And if you want to try driving for Uber or Lyft and get some of your own stories, your own experiences, feel free to do so. There is a referral link below. Um, and as always, flame responsibly. Now, what am I going to do? What am I going to do tonight? That's probably what I'll do tonight.